Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about how we can read CAPTCHA via TEST4J API and how we can use in Selenium. Okay, so let's get started and let's see what exactly we are going to cover. So first of all, you need to watch one of my previous video where we discussed how to read images via TEST4J API. So we have a detailed video around 20 minutes where we discussed how to read the images, what are the things you need, what exactly this OCR and everything. Once you are familiar with that, you can start capturing the screenshot. Okay, so now let's say you want to capture a, uh, a capture code. Let me show you. So this is one of the site called IRCTC. So if you try to click on login, uh, you will see we have a capture here, right? So you can see type in the box below and we need to type this word which is w2 are some characters so what exactly what task is we need to definitely fill username password and once you enter this captcha it will allow you to log in so this is what exactly we have to do we'll capture this image then we'll capture this captcha and we'll fill it this is what our intention is so whenever you have this kind of captchas you can automate okay again it depends if they have a strike or not if you have a plain text definitely you can do that if any other capture is coming then you need to take a call whether this api will be fit for you or not okay so for this example we will continue with this it is showing some nlp capture and we also have some recapture to recapture 3 so whenever you have time just go through it i will just write it here recapture okay so it's powered by google so they have recapture one recapture two recapture three so just go through it and uh, as of now we will focus on that particular nlp capture now i'm using selenium 4 for this demo because in selenium 4 we have a new method where you can directly capture the element screenshot now if you go back to the selenium 2 and selenium 3 we have seen how to capture screenshot of a particular page right and in case if you want to go back to particular element you need to write some additional line of code but the new thing in selenium 4 you can directly capture the elements screenshot okay so you don't need any other library i will show you just you need to call get a screenshot method now in case you don't want to go with selenium 4 you can do that with selenium 3 as well you need to just capture that particular element screenshot Still, Selenium 4 at the time of recording, it is in uh, uh, not officially released, okay. But still, we are able to use Selenium 4, so I'm using Selenium 4 now. So let me show you quickly uh, what exactly we are going to do. So this is what we created in the last example, right? I am demo. Now let me create a separate class and let me give this as read captcha. And I will take public static void main. You can take test ng or j unit. Now we quickly will create a script that will start a browser. And uh, so web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. And then I will start this particular site, which is IRCTC. And uh, so I will just click here and then I need to click on this login right so quickly I will check right click inspect what we have here and uh, just a second let's remove this yeah so we have a, a very straightforward ID so I will take ID as login text so say driver dot find element by ID and just say click now I will also give implicit weight so driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight and let me give for 30 seconds so time unit dot seconds now once we click on login okay uh, it might take few seconds as you can see it is taking some time to load this right so just for this demo i'm giving static weight you can see it takes some time and then it comes with capture you can see this right so you can write a condition that keep on waiting until this uh, please wait option is coming or this circle is coming okay you can see site is quite low it is not behaving properly okay let's refresh or maybe we can open it again okay so let's try it again 
okay it took few seconds right so i will give some weight now for the time being uh, you can use thread dot sleep but in case if you want you can write explicit weight as well now if you just mouse over here you can see it's a separate image right and the id of this image is captcha img so very straightforward locators we are getting that's good so i will just quickly give the id and now can you see this method call as get a screenshot as now this will ask you how you want the screenshot now if you're completely new to selenium then i would recommend you to watch my previous videos where we discussed how to capture the screenshot okay uh, in this i'm directly writing that i need the output type as file definitely it will return me the file so i will store in a file format let's say i want to store in a variable called src now this will give me the screenshot now i need to store it somewhere and then i can re, uh, pass in my api right so i will be using file handler so file handler dot okay so you can see file handler is coming from two different uh, packages right so by mistake i have taken this logging one so it is not giving me that particular options so let me remove this import statement and uh, that will ask me which you want to import so i will say file handler i need from selenium so file handler dot copy from and to so i will say from definitely this is the source variable and to i will give that i need to store the screenshot in my current working directory so if you see my project have one folder called screenshots so my requirement is i need to store the screenshots here or maybe if you want better you take the path here so that uh, easily refer in the next statement so i will say system dot get property and i will say user dot dir so what exactly it will do it will give me the current working directory then i will say go to the screenshots folder and create one screenshot called captcha dot png okay so this is what the path i want to give so in this case i will simply copy paste this variable here now this copy method is giving me one checked exception which is io exception so you can throw it as of now since our focus is mainly on how to read the images now this part will capture the uh, capture your capture image and it will store in this directory now the next task starts that which is i tesser test tesseract okay so just create a reference again and if you don't want to write the code again in the last video in the last program we have done the same thing right we already written everything as a pattern so what i will do i will just copy paste this okay in case if you don't want okay let's do this in this way then i will create object and new tesser act and i will say image dot do ocr so you can see it is asking me file path so we will give this as file so new file and where what is the path it is in this particular variable right so by default it will ask you give me as a file okay so we again created a file class object and we passed the screenshot path now when you do this it will return you as a string right i will say image text now our task is just to split it right now for the time being i will print this so let's see whether it is returning me the correct text or not okay now one more thing uh, after clicking on this as we have seen it is asking some like it's taking some time so i will give 5000 you can write explicit weight and if you are new to explicit weight i have a dedicated video for that as well now one thing which you notice here we don't have the driver path right now so i already have the driver path i will just quickly copy paste just to save some time right webdriver.chrome.driver and this is the location and now let's run this and see whether it is printing our captcha or not 
okay so i will maximize it because i have not written the code for maximize okay and uh, it will click on login and uh, okay it did you notice that it highlighted the capture image and you can see it is also giving some notification for this we have a desired capability that i will quickly write for this we have a dedicated video again in case if you don't know just go and watch my previous videos as well so it is saying it is not able to find okay we did a small mistake here that we forgot one forward slash because it will give you the current working directory right and then we need one forward slash so that it should go to this particular folder and it should store this now we have seen we are getting some notifications so first of all let me maximize this now apart from that I need I don't need that notification so I will create object of Chrome options class object and I will pass one capability or argument and that argument name I will give hyphen hyphen disable hyphen notifications okay and let's pass this options here so that it should not throw any notification now let's run it again okay it will maximize and uh, hope this time it should not throw any notification yes and once it will capture the screenshot it will highlight the screenshot yes and hopefully we got the text right we got the complete text a k y x a perfect now this is what we need so we will simply split the string okay and we'll capture this for this in the last video i have shown you how you can use regular expressions right and how you can get the text so we'll do the same thing now in spite of printing this text, I will say image text. Um, first of all, we'll replace all. So first of all, we'll split, right? Because we need to split this string. Uh, I will use a split. Now, whenever it will find uh, this particular keyword called below, I will split the string because I need the second part. So the split method I will pass below. Now I will take the second portion because index zero will have this portion because split method will return you array, right? So this will be index zero, this will be index one. So I will be taking index one. And after that, I will be using replace all method what it will do it will replace all the uh, unnecessary character and it will return me only uh, the main characters okay let's say i don't want spaces i don't want colon i don't want semicolon so i just need characters so for this we will write a small regular expression that we need a to z and capital a to capital z and we will give a caret symbol here this is also known as cursor so it means accept a to z small letters capital letters replace everything with blank that's all okay so it will say take the second string or the second uh, part of the string replace everything except which is coming capital a to z small a to z with blank and when you say replace all Definitely it should return you the final string, right? So I will say final text and I will print it. I will say final capture is final text. That's all. Now we, we don't have to print, right? We just have to enter in this particular section. So again, I will do right click and I will find that element okay you can see it is not coming properly let me just pull down here and now let's check it again so you can see again here uh, they have a very stable id con called nlp answer so our task is easy we don't have to write xpath as of now just say driver.find element by id 
and say dot send keys and give the final text and our task is done now let's quickly run this test and see whether it is able to capture and enter the correct captcha or not so let's run it and let's analyze the output Okay, so let's run it and uh, let's wait for the execution. Click the login. Okay, and uh, capture the image. Okay, so one more thing guys, did you notice here that it is also have numbers, right? So now let's see for the numbers what we can do for numbers also because it is replacing everything apart from characters. So if I say zero to nine also include, then in that case it should take it okay let's run it again and see see as i said again you need to analyze the pattern right as per my previous understanding that it should have only characters but it also have some numbers so we have written the regular expressions accordingly okay awesome so you can see we have given so this time only characters it is working fine and now you can simply enter the username and password and it should work right so like that you need to analyze the pattern what exactly you want to capture what kind of pattern you have and then you can continue so reading this kind of capture is pretty easy you just need to capture the image and split it accordingly and then you continue so this solution is only for this kind of captchas in case if you have different kind of captchas then you might need some other libraries okay so that's all i have for this video so in case if you have any other question uh, you can let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer them and if you still have any other query then feel free to contact me and uh, in case if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye